Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 Home Services project. In this video, we are going to learn about creating Laravel 8 new project and layout setup for the Home Services project. So first of all, uh, let's create the new Laravel 8 project. So switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the new uh, Laravel 8 project, uh, just type here the command composer a space create dash project a space laravel slash laravel okay a space project name which is home services all right now press enter Alright, project has been created. Now just go inside the project directory. So uh, just write here cd and project name which is home services. Alright, now let's install the live wire. So for installing the live wire, uh, just type in the command composer a space require a space live wire slash live wire. Alright, now press enter. Alright, live wire has been installed. Now let's open this project inside the Visual Studio code. So let's open the Visual Studio code. So just search here Visual Studio code and just click on this icon. Okay, now click on open folder. And this is the project directory. So let's copy this. Just here and select the project directory home services now click on select folder all right now let's configure the database so first of all let's create the database so switch to the browser and just open the look uh, php my admin so just type your localhost slash php my admin Click on databases and here let's add the new database name. So just write your home services db. Okay, this is the database name. Let's copy this and click on create. Okay, database created. Now switch to the project and let's open the .env file. And here let's add the database name db underscore database is equal to this one home services db okay db username root and password in my case is blank okay so save this file and now let's run the application so switch to the command prompt and uh, here just type the command php artisan serve okay now press enter all right all right it's running now switch to the browser and go to the URL localhost 8000 and here you can see the default Laravel 8 home page. Okay. Okay. Now let's uh, get the HTML template for this home services project. So uh, let's open the new tab and go to the google.com and here uh, just search Surfside Media GitHub. Okay. And now just click on first link and here you can see the repository uh, for Laravel 8 project home services so just click on this repository and from uh, from here you can download this template.zip folder okay and after extracting this uh, template.zip file you we will get you will get uh, these files okay these two folders and these these HTML files okay these are the templates file now let's use this html template in our project okay so first of all 
uh, let's create the layout page in our project so switch to the project and uh, just go inside the resources directory then views and inside the views directory uh, let's create a new directory new folder and folder name which is layouts okay and inside this layout folder let's create one uh, new file which is base.blade.php okay and inside this file uh, uh, go to the template directory and uh, from here let's open the index.html file in any text editor okay and from this file uh, let's copy all the text from here and paste inside the base.blade.php file okay all right now now make some changes in uh, css js and image url okay so this is the css url so just select this and here let's add the double curly bracket then cut this and add here asset and uh, add the parenthesis and inside the single quote just paste here the url okay Now do same thing uh, with all the CSS and JS and, uh, and uh, image URL. Okay, so I'm just going to select this and press Ctrl plus T for multiple selection and uh, add here double curly bracket space asset parenthesis single quote. All right, now here just uh, select this one and press ctrl plus t all right now add here single quote parenthesis and double curly bracket okay now inside the js uh, src uh, just select this ctrl d okay and now add a double curly bracket asset single quote And here just select this control plus T single quote parenthesis and double curly bracket all right now go to the bottom and also change here for the five icon so just select this double curly bracket asset and just paste here the URL all right now go to the bottom of the page and uh, for the scripts uh, just press here alt and shift and drag for multiple selection okay and uh, here just write double curly bracket asset single quote okay now press end button and end key and uh, here just write single quote parenthesis and double curly bracket uh, okay here single quote is missing so just write here single quote all right now it's good Okay, now let's find the all the images. Okay, so after this, here is the images. Okay, so just select this and press Ctrl plus T. Okay, and now here just write curly bracket, asset, single quote. and uh, now just select this one and press ctrl plus t okay all selected and after this in jpg just write your single quote 
parenthesis and double curly bracket okay mm, also change here so select this control plus T all right and uh, here just write curl, double curly bracket single quote uh, sorry asset then single quote now just select this press control plus D okay all selected now here just write single quote and parenthesis then double curly bracket all right all done okay now right here src images we'll select this press control plus d and uh, here just by double curly bracket asset and single quote now all done okay so save this file Okay, now let's create a new live wire component uh, for home page. So switch to the command prompt. And here uh, for creating the new live wire component, uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire uh, space uh, component name which is home components so right here home component. Alright, now press enter. component created now switch to the project and uh, let's open the home component so just go inside the resources directory and uh, then live uh, resources directory view live where and from here let's open the home component uh, view file okay and now just remove this okay and from the base layout file uh, this is the this is the header section okay and this is for banner and this is the footer section okay now from here uh, let's cut these two section okay so just select this uh, this section and cut uh, from here and uh, inside the home component just paste here okay now save this file now inside the base layout file uh, just write here for rendering the live wire component uh, double curly bracket and then dollar slot okay it is used for rendering the live wire component okay and for adding the live wires uh, CSS uh, just write here at the rate uh, directive at the rate live wire uh, a style okay the styles this one at the rate live wire styles and for rendering the scripts uh, just before the closing body tag just write here at the rate live wire the scripts okay this one All right, now save this file. Okay, now uh, let's open the home component uh, class file. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP live wire, and from here let's open the home component.php file. And inside this file, uh, let's add here the layout. So right here layout, and inside this just write here the directory name, which is layouts. Dot layout file name, which is base okay now save this file all right now let's create the 
uh, route for this component so just go inside the uh, routes directory and uh, from here let's open the web.php file and now first of all let's comment this and uh, here let's create the new route so right here route get and uh, add the uri forward slash then add here the component name which is the home component and also import here the home component okay like this and then just write here colon colon plus all right and also add here the route name home okay now save this file okay now all done one more thing uh, go to the template directory and uh, from here uh, let's copy these two folder assets and images okay so just select each folder and copy and go to the project directory this is the project directory okay and uh, inside this project directory just go inside the public directory and here just paste here the directories okay assets and images these are the template directories okay now all done so let's check this so switch to the command prompt and first of all run the application so right here php artisan serve okay now press enter all right now switch to the browser and go to the url local 8000 and just refresh the page and here you can see the home services project uh, home page okay this is the home page of the home services project okay these are the menus okay and this is the category slider uh, services category sliders okay okay and this is the footer all right so in this way you can create a uh, laravel new ad project and also uh, set the layout and implement the HTML template okay so that's all about project and layout setup so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, thanks for watching